guys, I've got a joke for you. How come you can never trust a particle? Because they literally make up everything. <laughs> ah, boo, you suck. Okay, anyways, today, quads and hip flexors will be mobility. So we're going to start off that stuff. Um, I'm going to put myself on my back here. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take my leg and I'm going to roll myself to the side. And then I'm going to tuck my toe underneath my body and then hang out here. Okay. So this is gonna give my, my lateral quad a pretty good stretch. And then if I want more out of this, all I need to do is just press that knee down to the floor a little bit, and that'll start to work its way around into kind of more of your rectus, that middle, middle quad. Just wanna hang out here for probably a minute to two minutes. This feels really nice, so I could probably fall asleep like this. Probably a bad idea to fall asleep like that, but I could. Um, from there, you're gonna do both sides, okay? And then uh, we'll move into your uh, kind of lunge position. And then we're just looking to stretch out that hip flexor, squeeze the butt, keep the hip pushed through, and then kind of bear down on the ribs, okay? And then you just kind of feel like that, that stretch is pretty dedicated to that position. Now let's just make sure that we're 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees here. What some of us will tend to do to feel like we get a bigger stretch is really put that front leg forward and really try and go a long ways. And that's not really going to give us much because it's just going to overextend our low back. Okay, so we're right here. Squeeze, pull with the foot, crunch the abs. Feel the stretch. Okay, we're looking to hold that for 45 seconds to a minute. You can do some contract, relax type stuff if you want to. Mix up pulling with the front foot, driving the back foot down, whatever you want. Okay, so uh, from there, we're going to go into our strength. Today's strength is pretty basic. Uh, seven minute EMOM of five pressing variants. Okay, so five reps of pressing variants. You're going to do either a strict handstand push up up on the wall if you're a ninja, okay? Or if you are struggling with your hand or with your push ups, you can just do a normal push up, okay? Choice is yours. And then you can kind of scale that back and forth anywhere in between. So you can do your normal push up. Or you can go into your pipe push-ups. You can start putting your feet up on something. Or you can go right up onto the wall for a normal handstand push-up. Okay? So uh, every minute, five to seven reps for seven minutes. Okay? Uh, from there, we have our conditioning piece. Three rounder today. You're going to do 60 double unders. That is one jump and two revolutions of the rope to make one rep. Okay? If you are not good at your double unders, 75 singles is just fine, okay? And then we have 30 hand release push-ups. Okay, trying your best to keep the core nice and tight, squeeze the butt, try and keep the quads locked so you're not kind of worming yourself up at the bottom of those reps. And then 30 knee tuck slides, okay? So if you have sliders, awesome. If you don't have sliders, you can use a pillow or a t-shirt on a slippery floor. And it's just hold your push-up position and then drive your knees to your chest. Okay? 30 of those. Okay, so three rounds through that. Get out there, work out, smile, sweat, have fun. See you tomorrow.